welcome back to the retro review i am the bearded geek joining me as always is mikey the freak what's up and steve-o steve-o <laughs> to- today we are doing a draft it is draft day uh, we are doing so- oh naming movies already my god <laughs> it is sports movies oh, that's a good one yeah we are doing sports movies uh, these are our own personal drafts, but once a movie has been taken off the board, it is gone forever. Cannot be taken again. The order will be Mikey the Freak, Steve, and myself. It is a serpentine draft. Let's go ahead and get this started. Mikey the Freak, what is your first movie, sir? Oh, I love going first. I can just get it out of the way. Um, a movie that I guarantee you guys weren't going to pick, uh, movie. I kind of, uh, when I got into the sport, um, I love the movie. I'm not a huge fan of Kevin Costner. I knew you were going, going, you son of a, I'm going with 10 cup. I wasn't going to take it first, but I was going to take it at least a second or third. You son of a. Bro, I, 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 when I started playing golf, uh, I was 15, and the movie came out a little bit later on, and I'm just like, this is such a, a interesting, funny, it, it just makes a lot of sense, and I'm definitely not, I, I, I've never really been a huge Kevin Costner fan, because it's probably one of the best movies that, um, at least my favorite movie from Kevin, Kevin Costner. A little Chili Dipper. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, little Chili Dipper. Little Chili Dipper. Jansen's ass over mm-hmm. there. So every time it's funny, every time I go to a, a PGA tour event and I'm watching people on the driving range, I'm waiting for someone to hit a chili dipper and Lee Jansen be sitting over there so I can <laughs> yell that shit out. But yeah, no, it never happens. It never happens. Little one of the tournaments the I did one of the tournaments I did go to, Lee Jansen was there, and I'm just like, oh, oh please, oh please, enough. No. no. I That's really a, thought you may have forgot about this movie. Hell no, man. I'll right. never forget about a good golf movie. I can tell you right now, none of the movies that I have have Cheech Marin in them. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. Isn't Don, isn't Don Johnson? Don Johnson, also yeah. Ten, ten yep. Don Johnson, yep. yep. Rene yep. Russo. Okay. Yep. Rocket. Uh, um, Steve, what is your first movie? <laughs> I, I think it's funny that you mentioned Rene Russo because this just carries right into the, my next film. Uh, right. If I had a spirit animal, he would be Lou Brown. Uh, I don't know. I got another guy on the other line about some white walls. Can I call you back? Uh, <laughs> Major, Major League, League, of course. Major League. Uh, how how can you not? I uh, cross them off my list. Probably one of my favorite baseball movies. Uh, always makes me laugh. I remember seeing the second one in the theater and thinking it was hilarious because. I always watched Major League on Comedy Central where it was censored. <laughs> and then I and then I rewatched the second one recently and I'm like, oh, that film is trash. <laughs> like it's funny. Like it's funny, but it's nowhere near as funny as the first one. They barely say fuck at all. Um, yes, the they inf- replace the infamous uh, scene. They they replace uh, you know, uh, Wesley Snipes with Omar Epps, which is oh, bad, yeah. but it's like not no, major, major League. I absolutely love it. I like the fact the that same. they made fun of uh, Wesley Snipes in Demolition Man and Major League Two. Oh, with is that is that what the 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 movie White Lightning, White Lightning and Black the, Thunder? Black yeah. Thunder. Black yeah. Thunder. Is that supposed to be making fun of him and and Demolition Man? Yeah, I, I did not know that. <laughs> is that why he didn't do Major League Two? He was doing Demolition Man. Uh, I think uh, no the time frame. I thought. I think it was time frame, but I think he just didn't come back for it, and they just had to replace probably, him. He probably didn't get the money yeah. he wanted, so well, I, I never love, paid the I government. Do, makes I sense. do, I do love me some Demolition Man, though. Yeah. But yeah, Major League, yeah. that's my first take. Right, well, I am going to take one of my favorite <laughs> football movies of all time. It is a college football movie. No. Yes, I am taking it off the board. You took my tin cup, so I'm taking your Scott Bakula. I'm taking your Scott Bakula, and I am it's taking a... necessary roughness. Necessary uh, roughness. Of course. Got yeah. Sinbad. We got a good Sinbad movie on the board, folks. <laughs> That's right. The only movie that <clears throat> that that'll probably be mentioned with sports and Sinbad. Uh, probably. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's nothing in Jingle all the way. 
<laughs> no. But I, I love Necessary Roughness, dude. When Yeah, that's good. It, Jason Bateman. Kathy, oh, mm-hmm. Smoking hot Kathy, Kathy Ireland. In this. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I oh, slightly yeah. remember that film from my youth, but I don't remember a lot. Uh, I highly suggest. I do remember Kathy. I do remember Kathy Ireland, though. I think this yeah. was the first movie I seen. Um, oh my God, what's Thumble Thumbelaya Thumbelruski? Uh, what is his name? I do no idea. I don't Mike, know. I've never. I know no, you no. know. I cannot remember his name. Thumbelruski. Rick Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Yeah, God, yeah, his Rob name. Schneider, yeah. I think that's the first movie I've ever seen him in. Uh, yeah. So my second movie is another football movie. This one stars uh, Keanu Reeves. You son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! You took my football movie! <laughs> the Replacement. The Replacement. Oh, yes, I am glad. Exploit him, delete him! Exploit him, delete him! <laughs> great, great movie. Oh, Love so this funny. movie. Falco. I think I want to get me a Falco jersey, actually. Well, I love the yeah. kicker. Rice, rice, was it Rice, Rice Evans? Yeah. The mule. I love him. Ole, love, ole, 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 ole. Ole. I love it. Love that. I love I the love scene it. where they're in the jail and they're line dancing. Yeah. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then the, to the, the electric coach walks slide, in, which you cannot yeah. do. Yeah. Which the um, coach walks down and they're, they all stop except for the deaf guy who's still dead. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great one, man. Uh, yeah, that's good. Franklin Jones. Franklin Jones like the common colds. Franklin Jones the only one catching it. Franklin Jones the only one coming down. I, I quote this movie <laughs> all the effing time. Actually, actually, no. I actually, it's a uh, necessary roughness. I, don't. Oh, throw the it, one you picked the first yeah. time. <laughs> don't throw it to Stone Hands. Don't throw it to Stone Hands. I love it. And he got was it? Yeah, Orlando. Is it Orlando Jones? Right. It's like I just jacked off an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's all such, right, Steve. What is your second movie? I love it. Was that. Gonna, was going to be the replacement. Just not now. Oh, damn it! So instead, I have a little story for you, gentlemen. Oh, good. We love stories. It's a little Cinderella story coming out <laughs> of nowhere. Oh. Former, former groundskeeper now in the Masters Championship <laughs> takes okay, a big right? swing. Caddyshack. Oh, Caddyshack. Yeah. Who doesn't love a good little Caddyshack? Who doesn't like a good golf one. movie? That's yeah, man. Uh, second film uh, that National Lampoon presented to us. Uh, <clears throat> Animal House was the first. National Lampoon's yeah. Animal House was the first. Mm-hmm. Uh, great, just a great film. A lot of of great improv improvision, uh, improvisation. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, from Rodney Dangerfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, from Bill Murray, uh, the that that whole Cinderella story scene was, was all, completely yeah. mm-hmm. improvised. He said, "Just give me a row of dandelions and like, you know, a driver," and that 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 was that. Um, I just I love it once again. Uh, I remember the sequel as a child. I remember thinking the sequel was great. I recently watched it. Not Boy, horrible. is that movie trash! <laughs> it is horrible. Funny. Jackie. Funny, that Randy. was Jackie Mason in his prime when that yeah. came out, and and not the right choice. I, no. I own the golf course. Why do I own the golf course? Because of these schmucks over here. So I take yeah. the golf course. I was I never a Jackie anyway. Mason fan to begin with. No, way. no. Uh-uh. All right, Mikey. Not uh, even close. What is yeah, it? but I, yeah, man, I just love, I love Caddyshack. Oh well, uh, yeah, Caddyshack's the greatest. Mikey the freak. What is your second and third? Movie? So, <laughs> so. uh I'm going. I'm going way in the left field, and it's not a baseball movie. So um, I'm going with Balls of Fury. Good one. I just watched oh, that yesterday. I love that movie. So we, I, I met uh, Dan Fogler, and I laughed <laughs> because I was like, you know what my greatest movie is that you've done? He's like, oh, really? What? So I, we, we talked a little bit about the show uh, Secrets and Lies that he was in the first season uh, of Secrets and Lies. And uh, I was like, balls of fury. He said he had the greatest time filming that funny slapstick type movie. And he would love to do a second one just because, just to come up with the stupidest shit. And I, I was like, that is such a great movie that people just don't, they, 
they think it's like a far fetched type comedy, and it is it's so funny. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going with Balls of Fury for my uh, second one, and it's ping pong. It is a sport. <laughs> That, that Balls, is true. Of Fury, Balls of Fury, directed by Robert Ben Grant, who oh. you're going to know as Junior from Reno 911. Mm -hmm. He's the hillbilly cop on Reno 911 <laughs> that always wears the sunglasses and has the mustache. Him mm -hmm. and Thomas Lennon actually wrote Balls of Fury. Oh, no. Him and Thomas Lennon also wrote uh, Bat uh, Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian. Really? Well, the second one, nice. Yes, and they appear in it as the Wright brothers. I am actually a big uh, uh, Robert Van Grant. I do believe that is his name. I, I am a fan <laughs> of a lot of what he does. He's probably, uh, him and Garcia are my favorite cops on Reno 911. Uh, but I literally just yesterday watched Balls of Fury. Uh, it's an absolutely hilarious film. Nice, ironic, right? I'll tell you after the show, but I got a great Comic-Con story my friend told me from the panel when they did the panel. I do love your Comic-Con Comic stories. Oh, <laughs> I, I have a lot nice. of them. <laughs> All right, Mike, what's your third? Um, yeah, so, man, there's so many good movies out there. So I'm going to take it off the board, so I'm not sure if uh, if you guys are going to choose it, but it's a great basketball movie um, Hold on. out of the 80s. You there? Yeah. Um, say that one more time. I think uh, there is a little you hear glitch. Me? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay, okay. It's always on me. Every time that it's my turn, the, the, the computer always messes up. I get it. No, I think this was on my end, but it's okay. <laughs> That's all good. Um, so I'm going with Teen Wolf, Michael J. Fox, basketball movie. Also technically a surfing film. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. kill two birds with one stone. Uh, yeah, so, I, you know, it's a has a lot to do about basketball. Um, so one of those great 80s fun uh, Michael J. Fox flicks, uh, you know, even with a dick at the end, it's always fun yep. to watch. Yep, the uh, dude in the um, stand with, the, the stand. <laughs> with his weenus out. <laughs> going, it's going. Uh, all, so right. Funny. all right, all right, yeah, Steve, that's it. That's the, what the is your one. third, sir? Oh man, so I have a couple ways that I can go, but I'm gonna go for. Uh, but some people would call me crazy because uh, I've never seen the original. Uh, but I am going to pick uh, Goon, a good hockey film. Goon, yeah. okay. A lot of people, a lot of people say it's it's based off of another '80s, you know, situation of a hockey film. Uh, but slap in reality, stick. yeah, slap well, stick, I think, yeah, shot. Oh, yeah. But oh. yeah, I mean, shot, I wasn't, slap, yeah. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna say it because I didn't want to say a pick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but in reality, uh, Doug Glatt uh, was a real person uh, in real life. I think it was like Doug Smith. Uh, if you watch Goon, they actually show video of you at the end of the dude in his prime playing hockey and just beating the hell out of people. Uh, I'm a big Sean William Scott fan. I waited yeah, yeah. in line in Comic Con for like four hours to meet him. Uh, oh, that's cool. So yeah, so I love Goon. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the sequel, once again, sequel not not so good, not trash, <laughs> but not, not so good. good. But yeah, Goon, I absolutely love it. That's one yeah. person I'd like to see come to a con is Sean William Scott. I don't yeah, think he's Sean been. I don't think he's been to a con near us. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> Nothing new on here. All right. I I am going to go. What movie do I want to choose? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take Rocky Four. Okay. Rocky Four. I love which, that that's which one which one's that one? The one with um uh, Ivan Drago. Drago? The one yeah. with Drago. If he dies, if he dies, yeah. he dies. He dies. Yeah. To me, that's the best Rocky. To me, that's yeah. the best Rocky. Oh, you like Tommy the Gun Morrison? No, no. <laughs> no. Uh, for me, I'd have to say the Rocky Horror Picture Show is the best Rocky. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. I like Rocky and Bullwinkle myself. So, oh, <laughs> hey Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my ass. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops, wrong ass. <laughs> and for my baseball movie, I am going to take Rookie of the Year. Oh, you suck. That was my next pick. <laughs> year yeah um i actually recently just got um henry rowan gardner's autograph yeah right there. Didn't send I got it right, there. Yep. right there yep so he's a cool guy to meet in person too so rookie of the year 
That's a good one. That's a good one. What is your um, I'm going to go with, so, so I've done a baseball movie, a golf movie, a hockey movie. I think I'm going to go with a bowling movie. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, and no, I'm gonna go. No, no, I'm gonna no. go a little Woody Harrelson, a little Randy Quaid, a nice. little Bill yeah. Murray, a little Kingpin, a little Vanessa Angel. While we're at it, as well. I got it. Oh yeah. Can't can't uh, lie. Kingpin. I, could, I totally forgot about that movie. That was on my list. Totally forgot Talk about that Kingpin. one. Out. That is that a really a good one. movie. I think when that came out, everybody wanted that clear. Uh, oh ball yeah, with the, the rose. rose ball. Yeah. See, for me, I always wanted the Mystery Men bowling ball. Yes. The one with you the can ball. still get the Mystery Men oh, I'm ball. Sure, I'm sure you can. I'm sure yes. you can. <laughs> it's about $300 right now. Oh, yeah. That's still a lot of money. Mikey, the freak, yeah, is a, a, Mikey the freak is an avid bowler. How many? Uh, you got two 300 games now? Three. Three, three? 300s. Yep. Nice. I almost shot one last Thursday. <laughs> Should have. Nice. All right, Mikey the freak. What another one. Is your fourth and final? Oh, your fourth and fifth. Fourth. Yeah. Fourth. Final. No. Fourth and fifth, which would be your final. Oh, I got you. <laughs> um, let's see. Have I picked a baseball movie? Um, let's see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my uh, baseball movie. Uh, I'm gonna actually go with Mr. Baseball. Tom Selleck. I uh, always enjoyed that movie. Uh, played base, was playing baseball at the time. Ever since you know, I've been little, uh, was always uh, interesting on what happens when people go over to Japanese baseball mm-hmm. leagues. Um, so it kind of gives you that uh, sense of does this really happen over <laughs> Japanese baseball? Who knows? Uh, but it's a very fun, interesting movie, uh, and it even has uh, uh, Joe Boo in it from major <laughs> league <laughs> it does. his his first baseball movie um so uh and yeah frank so thomas going, in it too didn't it in the very uh, beginning uh yes 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 uh, the only thing so, the only thing sorry. i remember from about that movie is tom Selleck uh going here's my card you can put it in your wallet and sit on my face <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's what he says to them here's a here's a here's my card you could put it in your wallet and sit on my face i'm pretty sure that's what he says to the movie. yeah because it was uh it was uh against uh, or, uh, or was it an insult to put their cards or pictures or something in their back pocket yeah so uh, that's why yeah. i yeah, honestly don't remember movie. i honestly do not I remember i you know the oh, last yeah. time I, you know the last time i saw that movie 1997. Um, <laughs> nah, damn, I wish someone remembered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, Mikey, funny. what is your final pick? Um, I'm going with a with a uh, a great uh, even a could even be an Emmy award winning movie, and it might have done it. Um, but Will Smith and King Richard. I don't know if you guys ever saw that. It came out just a, what two years ago, maybe last year. Uh, it's about the Venus Williams. Mm-hmm. You mean you mean you Williams mean the movie that the movie that Will Smith won the Oscar? Keep my name out. Oh, it's keep my, right. yeah. uh, keep, keep my wife's mouth. Yeah, keep my wife's name out your in him. mouth. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's so a that's good, what all that yeah. was about. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm going with uh, King Richard. It actually was it was a very good movie. Um, watched tennis, played tennis when I was young. Uh, so I've always in enjoyed the sport uh to an extent um so when they came up with something on uh you know how the williams sisters became who they became uh, it was actually a very well to- well told story and they could have picked someone else to will smith but he did a great job i have uh, not seen that movie yet. i haven't William. seen king richard yet but i do want to see it because I am a, it's big, a very, very good movie worth the watch. I'm a big Definitely Venus Williams watch. fan. I, I have the uh, uh, Serena Williams fan. I should. I, yeah. I have, I have the same amount of desire to watch that uh, movie as I do uh, Lightyear, and that would be none, <laughs> none at all, zero, zero listen, to none. <laughs> listen, Lightyear, when he's walk, I seen the previews when he's like walking in slow motion. He reminds me of a cop that would turn off his body camera. That, I mean, that's what he looks like to me. <laughs> he does. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, Steve, what is your I fifth and so final? So in the left field on that one. Dude, it's, it's funny, though. It's funny. Yeah. It's technically not wrong. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm for, 
for a fifth movie, I'm going to go with a movie that I know for a fact it wasn't going to get picked. Uh, so I purposely held it to the end. It's a movie that you probably haven't even heard of. It's called Pool Hall Junkies, and it's about billiards. Uh, okay. It's uh, it's this guy named Mars Callahan. He wrote and directed and starred in it. Uh, it has a very young Michael Rosenbaum. I believe that's his name. The guy that played Lex Luthor on Smallville. Yeah. Uh, Chaz Paul Monteri is in it. Christopher mm -hmm. Walken is in it. Allison Eastwood is in it. Uh, very fun cast. Uh, teach you a, teaches you a couple little bar tricks uh, that you can pull on your friends. Um, just a very, very fun, entertaining film. I was lucky enough to see it in its first run, uh, its only run. It was a limited release when it came out in the theaters originally, and I was lucky enough to see it in the theaters, uh, which is something I love on cool little independent flicks, uh, and Pool Hall Junkies was definitely one of them. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, I, I have not seen it, so... But you gave me something to uh, watch, so... Yeah, and you don't see a lot of billiard movies, like, mm -hmm. other than, like, well... I'm not going to say the, the color. Oh, I, I, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, He's not going to pick. I'm them. not picking. So yeah, yeah. Color, the color of money. money. Yeah. yeah. Not picking. Sure. Those right. are always yeah. cool. And movies, the sting but... isn't the sting about billiards. Uh. Or don't they have? Paul Newman. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know the movie. I the poster. The poster that. has him holding. I want to say a pool cue, or is that the color of money? Because isn't Paul Newman in the color of money as well? Color of money. Yeah, that's color of money. I am debating <laughs> on my fifth and final pick. Uh, Shazam is not a sports movie. No. You know what? I am going to go with it. I'm going with Over the Top. Yeah. You consider arm wrestling a cricket, sport? Cricket, they, cricket, cricket. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was I, either I that, that or the mighty, it was either that or Mighty Ducks. It was I either that Mighty Ducks. It was either I that. But I really like Over the Top. It is about arm wrestling. The whole damn movie is about and, freaking well, arm and wrestling. It, is, it technically is a sport in Vegas. Yeah. Well, no, it's a sport. Everything is a sport in Vegas. It's a, exactly. It, it's a sport. <laughs> exactly. It's a sport. You want to have fun in Vegas? Go to go to you and go to a urinal. Wait for a guy to walk up and go five dollars. Says I finished before you, and then you just start peeing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Oh yeah, they they'd be, yeah. I get that. They'd be hustling to get that, get that five dollar. No, you just turn that. You turn that shit off. Get your money and walk away, and then go finish pissing next door. <laughs> All right, I so, won. Oh, so to summer, so to summarize, Mikey the Freak, he has Tin Cup, Balls of Fury, Teen Wolf, Mister Baseball, and King Richard. Steve, he has Major League, took my movie, Caddyshack, Goon, <laughs> Kingpin. And pool hall junkies. Myself, I have necessary roughness. The replacements, Rocky. Took my four, movie. <laughs> Rocky for <laughs> rookie of the year and over the uh, top. Uh, Do we have any honorable mention? Yeah, of course, a league of their own. Of course. Yes. Yes. That's that that one. that that in the original in my original draft, my original pick mm. was going to be major league. But the first pick that my friend picked was Major League. So my first pick in my my original draft was A League of Their mm -hmm. Own because, and I I'm very interested to see what they're doing with this Amazon. They just released a trailer for an Amazon TV series. They're they doing did. for A League of Their Own. I really oh really well I didn't see that. That interests me a lot. Actually. I really want to see that. Um, nice. No, yeah. no. Uh, oh, ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. Oh, they're rumble. On a, yeah, I, I thought about putting a wrestling movie in there, and I'm like, it was it was on my list. Nobody mentioned any given Sunday. I don't. I, I, honestly, I, I'm not a fan of any given Sunday. No, you didn't like that one. Cameron, Cameron Diaz, Al Pacino. No. Man. I mean, good it's movie. great cast. It is a good movie, but I'm not a big yeah. fan of it. If anything, I would have went Last Boy Scout. Yeah. Would you? I like you consider Last Boy Scout a, a sports movie. He was That's some football in it. Yeah, yeah. Well, football's in it, but I mean, like, yeah, yeah, I guess it's not Blind really. I guess it's really. That's not like that's like movie. saying that Biodome is a Christmas movie. Yeah, that's I just guess you're right. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, we lose. Um, Mike, Mikey, do you have any, do you have any other got, mentions? I got uh, Legend of Bagger Vance, another okay. good uh, golfing movie that I liked. Um, your typical uh, like hockey movie, Miracle. Mm -hmm. Miracle was a good one. Um, Blue Chips, Hoosiers, 
And I was going to actually go off the rails. It's it just considered a sport, and we talk about Vegas, but uh, I was going to go see Biscuit. Sebuscus. Sebuscus. Yeah, so I like I like Sea Biscuit. Thought it was interesting. So I I have a, of course Mighty Ducks as an honorable mention, and uh, Air Bud, the basketball <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> the basketball Air Bud. <laughs> we talked about that in our last podcast. It is it is a sports movie. Yeah, it is. unfortunately, it is a sports movie. Um, Jesus. yeah, Mike Mike mentioned also Blue Chips, which I I was gonna mention as well yeah um all right i do believe that does it for this episode of back to the retro review before we go make sure you do all the youtuber things give us a good old thumbing hit that like and subscribe uh leave a comment tell us what your movie drafts are your top five movie drafts of sports movies put that down in the comments so for mikey the freak and steve i am the bearded geek saying keep it retro everybody peace bye